In this particular lecture, let's learn how we could conditionally render components using element variables. So even before learning that, let's understand why do we use element variables. So right now here, the problem with this code is that we are having two return statements inside a single component. And while that's okay, it's not usually a good practice to have multiple return statement in a single component. And that's because a component should always, always return a single snippet of JSX code. So in order to go ahead and understand how element variables could solve this problem, uh, let's first understand what component variables exactly are. All right, so to understand this, I'll get rid of all the code from here and we are going to start from scratch. So let's say I have a variable called as message one. So I would say let message one. So this looks like a regular JavaScript variable, but element variables are something which allow you to store HTML elements into them. So for example, over here, I could create an H1 element and I could save some message over here like uh, this is message one. All right, so this right here is one element variable. Let's create another variable here. Let's say message two. And let's save some other message over here. So I would say this is message two. Now let's say depending upon a condition, I want to render message one or message two. So let's have a Boolean variable over here as well. So let's say const and uh, let's name this thing as display. And let's assume this is set to true. And if the display is set to true, uh, let's say we want to display message one or else we want to display message two. So what I could simply do here is that I could say if display is set to true, then I would return message one or else I could return message two. Now here, this works absolutely fine. That is if you actually go back to your browser, it says message one. And if I actually set the display to false, this time it will say message two. So we have used element variables here, but we have not yet resolved the issue of this particular two return statements inside a single component. So in order to resolve this issue, what we could do is we could use element variables in a little bit different fashion. So what I could do is instead of having two message variables, I would simply create one message variable. I would say let message and I won't assign it any value. And over here, instead of returning message one, if display is set to true, then I would set the value of message equal to this, which is message one. So I would say if the display is set to true, then simply set the message element variable to this or else if that's not the case, then set the value of message to nothing but this other element which we have up over here, which is this one. So I'll cut this from here, paste it up over here. And now we could get rid of these two variables from here. And right now, as you can see, we have not yet used return. And therefore I could finally now have one single return statement here instead of having two. And now this logic works in a exact same fashion. So if I set it back to true here, go back here, this says message one. And if I say false, then this thing says message two. So here we have used element variables in order to solve the problem of using two return statements whenever we have to conditionally render something. So this is how you could go ahead and make use of element variables to conditionally render JSX, or you could even do this with components as well. So that's it for this lecture. And in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how conditional rendering could be performed using ternaries in JS. So let's learn about that in the next one.